What's up, small business owners and marketing directors? I'm Paul Hickey, and this is your data-driven daily tip. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to fix coverage issues in Google Search Console for your website. Now, this means that you might be getting some alerts from Google Search Console, also known as Google Webmaster Tools, on how to improve your SEO, basically. And so, this is what these alerts are gonna look like. And for those of you listening, you'll get an email when your website is verified with Google Search Console that says, new coverage issue detected for your domain name. <clears throat> and then it'll have a blue button in there that says fix coverage issues. And if you click that button, it'll take you into your Google Search Console. And more often than not, we're dealing with a situation where a URL has a crawl issue, okay? Now in the old Google Webmaster Tools, you used to be able to submit a fetch as Google request. And uh, that is a little bit hidden in the new Google Search Console. So I'm gonna show you that as well as what to do about these issues. First of all, you need to understand that the world is not ending. This is actually a pretty common scenario for a URL to have a crawl issue, and uh, it's pretty easy to fix it or resubmit it to Google. So right, right now what we're gonna do is once you're in your Google Search Console, you're under index and coverage on the left-hand side, and it's gonna show your URL. It'll say one page affected, submitted URL has a crawl issue, and it'll, it has a button that says done fixing, validate fix. We're not gonna go there yet. We're gonna scroll down to the bottom of the page to that URL, we're gonna click that URL. And then over on the right hand side, this menu is gonna slide out and it'll give you four different options. Inspect the URL, test robots TXT file that might be blocking the URL from being crawled by Google, fetch the URL as Google, so in other words, ping Google and say, hey, can you look at this URL and send us back the results uh, of what you see? And then also view as a search result. So I'm gonna walk you through all of these right now. Now the inspect URL, in this case, came back with uh, the same crawl issue. So I'm gonna show you that last. Uh, testing the robots.txt file is going to basically show you that uh, in this case, this URL is not blocked by Google. It's actually allowed. That's a simple fix to remove a, uh, a file on the server that might be blocking that URL. In this case, uh, we can rule that out. When we fetch as Google, we're basically submitting this URL to Google to come back and say, what are the issues with it? Why are you giving us this error? So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. And uh, you can see if you're looking at my screen, that the old Google Search Console Webmaster Tools is popping up. So I'm showing you in this data-driven daily tip how to find what you used to be able to find in the old Search Console. You can see that it's uh, just taking us back into the old Search Console in a, uh, another tab. Now the view as search result is kind of a new feature. That's pretty cool. So you can see here that uh, this is what this page looks like um, on this particular website where you're seeing the search engine title, you're seeing the meta description, and you're seeing the way that the URL is indexed by Google. So that is um, kind of validation of what that should look like as a, search, as a search result. So now we're going back over to our tab and we are going to crawl the URL. Uh, we're gonna su finish submitting our fetch and render request rather. And we, we've confirmed that the robots TXT is not blocking it. So once we've done these things, um, <clears throat> and go ahead and click inspect URL again on the right-hand side, it'll say ret retrieving data from Google. And now all of a sudden we see URL is on Google. It is submitted and indexed. indexed. <laughs> the page is mobile friendly. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and click request indexing which is gonna be our final step to getting this page live on Google. And then once it's live on Google, you'll see that <clears throat> the search engine preview is what, will it, what it will look like. So my friends, when you receive this new coverage issue email from Google Search Console, do not panic. Click fix coverage issues, go into the URL uh, inspection tool and uh, click the URL, go through that four step process on the right hand side of the page and uh, you should be able to fix the problem. If you have any trouble or would like to contact me directly, email me at paul at datadriven.design. 
For more free digital marketing tips, go to dataoveropinions.com. I'm Paul Hickey. This has been your data-driven daily tip. Have a great day.